All right, well, this is the last video I'm going to do, basically, because this is a lot of work. It took me a grip just to take off the new bolt and everything on there. I mean, I got it. <clears throat> but now they are wanting me to take off. I had to take off my exhaust pipe now. The tire, I had to take off this again because it was raining. So I had to put it back on there because I don't want rust getting in there. This is quite a bit of work. Um, you know, for me to have to take all this back apart. <laughs> just so that way they can see that it's something with the gears. Now look. Not to be rude, but you guys should either give me a new engine or something. Because this is like a grip load of work I've already done. I'm, you can tell this isn't a scam. I'm not playing you. So I would really, really appreciate it. <laughs> if you guys can actually do your part. I've already done my part several times showing you know everything's fired up i'm doing the video for the youtube because they want me to do the video for this new motor and this motor has not worked since day one i had to take off everything off again <clears throat> just so that way i can um show them Do a whole video. I don't really want to, but why not? Well, say the least, I've done this like several times for you guys. And you guys want this, you guys want that. But what have you done back for me in return? I paid you guys, I gave you guys my money. And I don't have an engine. I would like to get the hell off this property. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. And I've been working on this freaking scooter for quite some time to get the hell off this property. And instead of being able to leave, I'm stuck here. Working on this fucking scooter. was not expecting to take all this off because not only do I have to take it off the exhaust pipe off and take the tire off I have to put the exhaust pipe back on to start the scooter I had this all nice and snug and you know when you have certain things put together you really don't like to take them apart again but they want me to take it apart for whatever fucking reason
been raining out here. Sure. One of them. Another reason why I don't like taking these off because the washers and everything. I had the washers all on there nicely. But now you guys want me to take a whole piece of plant for you. Please, please take it apart. Yes, I know you did all the work, but please take it apart. We need to make sure. Well, if you didn't sell me a shit engine to begin with, and if you sold me the exact engine that I asked, Instead of the part that wasn't on there, I still haven't even put that on. And it didn't even come with the, uh, with the piece right there to seal it. The seal, it didn't even come with the seal. Which is stupid. Should have came with the seal. You guys gave me a part that it didn't even come with all the shit. And I still have it in the packaging. I can show you if you like. Still in that stupid bag. Next time, make sure to test your engines before sending them out. Because this sucks for me. Because I was really hoping after I did this, I can go somewhere. Instead of sticking on this stupid property for several months. I love this property, but when you're stuck on it, after a while, it gets a little nerve-wracking. Now I was able to take that off. Oh, look, and now I have to put this back on. Isn't that hilarious? I spent four, four something, four hundred and something dollars on this engine. So I think it was like four seventy or four thirty something or whatever. And you would think after spending that much money, the engine would work. They want me to take all this shit off. To show that maybe it's the gearing. Because everything on this scooter is brand new. The thing that sucks is that, you know, I was, I could have spent as much money as I spent on this, I probably got a, could have got a nicer scooter and building one. But my dad wanted to go the cheaper route. And this ended up being the more expensive route. And I told him, you know what, let's just buy one. It'd be a lot more better. Can we do a payment plan? No! Let's get, let's do it this way. It's good just to fuck us all with no lube. great if I had a shop because I could actually work all my stuff without it.
This is like the fourth time I got screwed over on eBay so far. In the past month, or a few months actually. So I had this motor for quite some time and I haven't even been able to leave the fucking property. Not once. It would have been so great just to leave the property one time. Just to be able to drive it. To enjoy it. It'd be great if I had the like, you know, the mod kit and stuff where I didn't have to take off the casing and all that crap. But because I do not have the mod kit, I have to take off the side case and all that crap. So you know, I got all those nice screws to take off so that they could see the inside, making sure that the belt's on there that I'm not trying to lie to them. <sighs> And it's like, well, it wouldn't be making that same dirt, 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 if I was lying. Because then it would show that, uh, yeah, no, but then it'd go, but yeah, whatever. All right. There's that part. You might say, oh, that wasn't so difficult. Yeah, well, it's still annoying. And then after a while, you can't do that every single time because, you know, those things start to wear out. And... Yeah. Hold on one second. Forgot I gotta put the uh, bolt on there. Hold on. One second. Your call is very important to us, and we will be back with you as soon as possible. And as you feel like slowly declining, don't worry. We'll be here to make you feel worse about your day. We're here to screw you with no lube. Don't worry. Life is great. The best part of waking up is getting screwed by the government and eBay and more.
okay? It hasn't gone anywhere. I need a new engine. I mean, this should have been new. I mean, you, you can tell I haven't gone anywhere. There's nothing on here. Look, look how clean it is. I mean, the only thing that, I don't know why a spider got in here. I guess they got into those little, these little holes here, but I keep, I kept this cover on there. I haven't gone anywhere. I've had this motor sitting at my house since the day I got it. It's been hooked up and I've tried everything to get this motor to go and it won't go anywhere. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is my video. I know it was a little bit longer, but you guys wanted me to do everything. I did everything I possibly could. Everything's hooked up. There's no, there's no air leaks, nothing. I've checked. And it still doesn't want to go here. And it just does that popping noise. I even went out and got this, but this was for the 50. Apparently, um, I had to get another hookup for the 150 to try to do the air. You know, see so about that. I tried that out. That didn't work. You know, my friend let me borrow his when he came by, but he left and I haven't seen him. And so, yeah, anyways, I'm in the middle of you know, where I've been out here for months and I would like to be able to ride this damn scooter. The lights come on, the blinkers come on, everything comes on, everything's wired properly, but it's not going anywhere. And as you can see, it's been sitting for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Another one made in a little nest here. I mean, I haven't been able to go anywhere. You can see the dust on here too. Because I've been trying to hook it up and trying to get this to go so I can get the hell off this property. So anyways, let me know what's going on because I either need a new engine or need something and I can't get out this property. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, do me a solid and make sure I don't get screwed here because <laughs> I mean that car don't work. That car's a rebuilt. I can't go anywhere with it. So, anyways, 